Alright, welcome back to part 11 yeah, of this chapter 5. Okay, so the first question is, when might you want to compute the number of periods? Yeah? This is when you want to solve for a number of periods in a simple time value money problem. This is when you know the other elements, but you do not know this element. Yeah? You know the present value, you know the future value, and you know the interest rate, but you do not know the uh, term. Yeah? Therefore, then you would use uh, this method yeah, to solve for the unknown yeah, number of periods. Okay, then uh, suppose you want to buy some new furniture for your family room. You currently have $500 and the furniture you want costs 600 If you can earn, earn 6%, how long will you have to wait uh, if you don't add any additional money? Yeah? So the question, just look at the three known elements, 500, this is the present value, you have that now. The furniture that you want costs 600, and that means you need to increase this to 600 at the end of year end. This is the future value. Okay, you can earn 6% from this. This is the interest rate, the third element that is known, yeah? 6% per year. So the unknown fourth element is how long will you have to wait, the N is not known. Yeah? So you use the formula here. Yeah? Use the formula and you get this here yeah, 600 divided by 500. You take this ratio, you take the natural log of this ratio, then this divided by the natural log of 1.06, yeah, or 1 plus 6 percent. Yeah. Therefore, you get 3.12897, yeah, it's slightly more than three years. Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, all right. With that, we finish this uh, topic. We come to the comprehensive problem. Yeah? So this comprehensive problem has a combination yeah, of all yeah, uh, the problems that we have seen just now or previously yeah, in previous clips. Okay, let's look at the first state, uh, point here. You have ten thousand dollars to invest for five years. So it tells you this is the present value. You have five years. The term is known. Yeah? So these two elements are known. Yeah? How much additional interest will you earn if the investment provides a 5% annual return when compared to a 4.5% annual return? So how do you compute that? What is this problem about? Yeah, it says additional interest. Okay, additional interest okay, will be the future value that you get with 5% annual return and uh, compared to yeah, the future value when you get 4.5% annual return. Yeah? So here, we need to compute the future value given 5%. Yeah? So you know the present value, you know the term 5 years, you know the interest rate 5%. So what you do not know, you do not know the future value yeah, after 5 years. You compute for the future value with uh, 5%. Then again, you repeat that with the interest rate being 4.5%. Yeah? You do not know the future value if the interest rate is 4.5 percent so you look for these two values you solve for these two values and then you take the difference between the two yeah then you get the answer yeah so this is how you do it ten thousand dollars is the present value this is common for both yeah so we can bring this out so this will be one plus five percent one plus r this is here this r yeah raised to the power of five when you multiply with this this will be the future value Okay, with this, yeah. Now, this will be when you multiply with 10,000, 1 plus R, 4.5 percent here, raised to the power of 5. This will be the future value. When you multiply this, will be the future value uh, with 4.5 percent here. Now, the difference between the two is you minus these two, right? For this is common, you bring this out. This minus that will be the difference yeah, in the future value interest factor, all right? Then, you multiply with 10,000, you will get $301, yeah? $301 will be the difference. It means that with 5% annual return, okay, your future value will be higher than your 4.5% interest annual return by $301. Yeah? This is not the future value, yeah? it's a difference in the future value. Because the question says how much additional interest. Okay, it doesn't ask for the future value, yeah? but this uh, additional interest is computed 
by taking the difference in the future value, right? So that's the answer for this. Yeah? Now, how long will it take your ten thousand to double in value? Yeah? If it earns five percent annually, whenever you use you hear or see the word double, okay, you can use the rule of seventy two. Yeah, but here we are going to ignore that because. The rule of 72 is an approximation. It doesn't give you an exact answer. Therefore, here we are trying to solve for what? Yeah? We know the present value, the known elements, present value. The future value is also known, double, so it must be 20,000. And you can earn 5% per annum. Yeah? So the unknown factor is, or the unknown element is the term. How long? Yeah? How long will you have to wait? Okay, so we solve for that using the formula to 2000, sorry, 20,000 double divided by 10,000 or double is always 2, yeah? 2 divided by 1, yeah? 2. So you take the natural law of this divided by the natural law of 1 plus R, 5% here, you get uh, approximately 14.2 years. Yeah? This is the number of years you will have to wait in order to double your investment here. Yeah? Right, that is the second uh, question's answer. The third, yeah, okay. What annual rate has been earned if one thousand dollar goes to four thousand in twenty years? Now this is a completely different problem from these two, yeah, or these three points, yeah. What annual rate? So rate is not known. That's the unknown. Yeah? The interest rate is not known. This one thousand is the present value. This 4,000 is the future value and 20 is the number of periods yeah? and the term is known. Yeah? So the interest rate is not known. So you need to solve for the interest rate. So we use the interest rate formula. This is the interest rate formula. Let me just drag this down a little bit. Okay. <coughs> so it's 4,000 future value divided by present value. All this you take the... Uh, you raise this to the power of 1 divided by 20, yeah? or the reciprocal of n, yeah? 20 years. Then you minus 1, you get 7.1773%, yeah? roughly 7.18%. That is the interest that we would have earned. Yeah? Okay, so that's the answer for this. Yeah? And with that, we finish uh, this topic. Yeah? Okay, with that we finish this topic. Uh, so in the next clip, yeah, we'll stop here. In the next clip, we will look at uh, uh, chapter six, yeah, where we will discuss more complex yeah, time value of money problems. Yeah, so far we have just looked at the basic yeah, time value of money problems.